My name is Ruben Peralta from the American Republic and Cocalecas.net. Hey. <laughs> Uh, one of the things that I love about the movie is the chemistry that you guys have. And Alison, you wrote this. And how was that process of writing something that create chemistry since the first time that we saw uh, the whole all three together? And and uh, the processing of writing this this complicated love story. Sure. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, you can't write chemistry it has to just happen so on the one hand we got extremely lucky that these excellent actors agreed to do the movie and like and also even then when you meet people and you go wow these are really good people and i know they're really talented there's always still a magic to actually getting on set and being like oh good oh good i always blush around mm -hmm. jay and kiersey this is all going to be great mm -hmm. um and, and at the same time like you said uh we really wrote these characters to be complex. We wanted everybody to have a deep emotional backstory. We wanted them all to be like full characters and, and they're all going through it. So it was, uh, you know, it was fun to see everybody's take on what's happening and, and also watch these two kind of like bring an amazing dose of humanity to their characters. Because the last thing we want, I mean, all of the characters make well, the R2 characters make some questionable decisions in the film. Yeah. Cassidy is pretty unscathed. But like at the end of the day, we wanted to reflect real people mm -hmm. that are just in this heightened, emotional, very confusing situation. And uh, you don't always make the right decisions. I agree. That, that's what I like about this. It's not a classic romantic story. It was classic comedy romantic with, uh, with, you know, with some spice of drama. It feels human. It feels like if I am in that situation, I probably will do the same. And how was this like creating this character for for you, Jay and Cassidy? Like, how did you guys create your characters based in on, on a conversation with Allison because she she, she that, to, to Ali because she wrote the character and what did she wanted to show to portray on on screen and and, and create something like 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 we saw on on, on, the, on the movie. Mm. Yeah, I mean, please, please. No, I, I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say, you know, I, I just always go back to like one of my first, actually one of our first rehearsals together. Oh yeah. What Whoa. at the acting school? Oh my god, that's that? right in a little like black box yeah. room. Yeah, yeah that and was I, really cute. And I just remember it was just the four. It was the three of us and Dave. And I just remember like just being grounded. I just remember the conversation of staying grounded in these situations and not playing the comedy of these situations mm -hmm. but playing like the real life of it and like what how would you feel if you saw you know your ex the weekend before you're supposed to get married that is a wild thing to just bump into somebody 48 hours before you're supposed to say i do mm -hmm. and then how would you feel if all of a sudden the woman you're marrying and your ex are like sitting in a bar together having drinks doing shots and you're like this is crazy. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't like it. Like there's just, you know, all these things that, you know, we were as we were rehearsing and we're talking about these things, it was just how do you stay grounded in what's true and what feels true in those moments. And you know, Allison and Dave did an amazing job with this script, but like they also allowed for play and allowed for us to like find things if things didn't if if for some reason we were having a hard time articulating a specific word or thing the way they written it there was also this thing of like okay well let's play and let's find it as long as we're still staying on the same track and being true to the moment yeah dave always starts the process on on the two films that he's directed uh by having us read through the scenes and then letting the actors put it in our own words. I mean, in this case, because I co-wrote it with him, it was like already in my own words for me, but it's really helpful to hear. It's like, you just want everything to feel real. And it's like, yeah, Jay, how would you say that? Kirzi, how would you say that? Like, we're not rewriting the whole story, but it's like, we wanted the whole movie to feel lived in and mm -hmm. comfortable. Like, you know, these people, like, you know, this town. And I think that really helps with that. 